This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says solve for x. We have x over 2 minus x over 5 equals 3. So as a quick reminder on the actual ASVAB and PyCat, you will not have a reference sheet or a calculator, but you will have scratch paper. So you want to get in the habit of copying things down. In this case, we're subtracting two fractions. In order to subtract fractions, they have to have a common or the same denominator. In this case, we're looking for a common denominator between 2 and 5. Uh, 2 and 5 both go into 10, so that's going to be our common denominator. In other words, we're going to rewrite this equation with a denominator of 10. To write 2 as 10, we have to multiply it by 5. We're also going to do that to its numerator, so this is 5x over 10. To write 5 as 10, we multiply it by 2. We're also going to do that to its numerator. 2 times x is 2x. Now that we have a common denominator, that's not going to change. That said, we can subtract our numerators now, so this becomes 5x minus 2x. 5x minus 2x is going to be 3x over 10 equals 3. Um, we're going to solve for x first by clearing 10 from the denominator, so we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by 10. This says 3x equals 3 times 10 is 30. Now, finally, we can divide both sides by 3 to get x by itself. 30 divided by 3 is 10, so x is 10 in this case. You always quickly want to check your work. We know x equals 10, of course. So we're going to plug in uh, 10 for x there and there. And let me do that quickly off to the side here. This becomes 10 over 2 minus 10 over 5 equals 3. We want to check to see if this makes a true statement. If it makes a true statement, it means we did our work correctly. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Uh, 10 divided by 5 is 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. Does 3 equal 3? It does. That is a true statement, so I'm confident that D is the correct answer.